Hey guys, this is TJ with Texas Digital Gaming. And today we're getting into all of the outfits for the closets. Um, I was going to delay doing this video for a while because I had already unlocked through mods one of the uh, specialty outfits that's not going to be around until the 25th. But other people have already outed it and Under Labs already knows about it, so they've already kind of joked about it and showed it themselves on their stream today. So I'm going to go ahead and show all the outfits in the closets and kind of remind people where to get them. All right here, so let's just remember, to begin with, the denim jackets, flannel shirts, layered t-shirts, leather jackets, the hoodies, the ninja hoodies, puppy vest, all of those will be found in either just regular houses, regular containers, nothing special about them, they'll just be found somewhere in the maps. The baseball caps, um, dockyard, flat brim, and knit cap will all be found also in houses, just like the clothes. Um, the military helmets and the army caps will be found either in ammo shops, army navy stores, military bases, or roadblocks, along with the tactical uniforms. Those also will be found in the same locations. And the cowboy hats will either be found in either barns or in like horse stables. And you all be familiar with those because lately it seems to have a glitch that allows you to walk through walls in the stables everywhere. And then of course you have um, the Juggernaut Mask, which is going to be achieved through Cash Belmont, along with the Skeleton Hoodie. And Swine and Bovine will be the special outfit I'll show you last. So, show you the rest of them here. Okay, so for denim, you have black and it says almost insufferably cool. It also says, someone looks, uh, some looks just never go out of style. No doubt. Then you have black and gold. Art fully shredded by a professional. That gives it that $100 look instead of $10. Blue and red. No, those aren't blood stains. Then you have brown. The rips were put there by the factory. It's another fashionable look. Then camo. This jacket has seen its share of action. I never cared for the green camo. I just don't think it looks it looks so much like old school G.I. Joe's. Alright, then we're gonna move on to flannel shirts. Comfy with a touch of style. Black, so basic it's almost elegant. Blue plaid, can't go wrong with a nice blue. Brown plaid, for those who just don't care to be noticed. Camo. You won't actually blend in, but it looks nice. Desert camo. Who knew there were so many shades of khaki? You have golden plaid. The same color as your aunt's refrigerator. You know, I actually had a grandmother that had a refrigerator that exact color right there. That mustard and brown. God, that's so ugly. Green cheek. Green check. Sorry. If you're under 30, you had one of these in your closet. Orange plaid. Makes you think of lazy autumn weekends. Purple plaid. One preserved for only the slackers of royal descent. And red plaid. Being eye catching is a bold fashion these days. <laughs> okay, then we move on to the layered t shirt. You have the zombie crossing. It says it's a shirt over a shirt over another shirt. And the zombie crossing says, trust me, the Zeds definitely appreciate the irony. I don't know why I started with the we'll back there. Then you have the green one, which is AHFF, which is the Asian Horror Film Festival. I actually like that shirt. And it seems like the shirts, all the outfits honestly seem to fit better on the women. Maybe it's because they're form bidding. I don't know what it is, but some of the outfits just don't look good on the men, and they'll look good on the women. I don't know why. You have the Coconut Kid. Anybody watches the stream from the Dead Labs will know about this one. Four or five with at least two essential vitamins. Enough movie. Red and black. It's a shame we'll never get a sequel now. 
not sure what movie that's supposed to be. Final person. Last gal. It's red and gray. Let's hope this isn't literally true for you. Grasping hands. A fun reminder of what's lurking out there. Ouchie. It's cute and creepy. Anybody that's on Undead Labs streams or their Discord will know about this. Drop me a comment. Let me know if you know what it is. I love this one. This was my favorite t-shirt. The Pastry Geist. Donut Day is back and hungry. I'll go back to it. What I do? And of course it says, it knows what you crave. They're here. Poltergeist, one of the best movies. Bad news. Our lack of storage meant some of our Yeah, the swine and bovine. Ruined. This is just a sure. This is not the unlockable. So swine and bovine. For those that are just such big fans of a half cow, half pig. You gotta have this shirt in your closet. It actually says the shirt is actually healthier than their burgers. Warp or Deliverance. These ladies really knew how to rock. This really twisted shirt. Like a skull with a brain barbed wire going around it. Nice. And this is the crossing shirt we started off with. Now, the next ones are leather jackets. Now, these do have a little hitch to them, too. The first two jackets can be found anywhere. Any map, any location. There is no real niche to it. The last three are map specific. And I believe that the, and don't tell my word on this because I have already forgotten this. I think that the golden one is Drucker. I think Crimson is Cascade Hills. And I believe the uh, chocolate is Meager Valley. But, um, so love the jacket. It says all you need now is a sweet ride. And this color is Azure. It's like blue, but only more expensive. You go, girl. Black for those about to terminate. It actually does come with like a Terminator 2 jacket. Chocolate doesn't actually make you taste to, taste any tastier. <laughs> doesn't actually make you tastier to the Zeds. I don't know why I can't talk today. We have crimson. Won't show blood stains, even yours. Golden sting like a bee. And she actually pulls it off. Next we go down to the ninja hoodies. Makes you feel 27% more stealthy. Black, the classic stealth look. Black and gold. No, it doesn't make you like a bee. It doesn't make you look like a bee. Camo. Forest ninjas are totally a thing. Desert camo. Desert ninjas are also a thing. Northwest for today's hipster ninjas. I would totally beat the hell out of a hipster ninja. Let's see here, we got the puppy vests. This is, another, this is another look I never really totally cared for. Um, I think they're kind of very 70s, 80s hunting <laughs> style. I, I don't know. It's just, I never understood the purpose of wearing a jacket that only covers part of you. But let's see here. Puppy vest keeps your core warm. Black for all you formal puppy vest needs. Black and gold, a Steel City favorite. We've got a visitor here and they want to talk to you. Blue and orange, a surprisingly complimentary pairing. Camo, great for camping. Desert camo, what? Desert can't be cold too. Harvest, it's like orange and brown. Earth tones are always welcome. Green and orange, that's a hideous color for this. The orange accent is for safety. Ranger, basically a khaki and green. Perfect for all your favorite national parks like a forest green. Tan and taupe. The blue shirt provides a pleasing accent. It's not bad looking. Woodland, a classy outdoors look. Outdoorsy look. And of course the skeleton hoodie. Enjoy this 100% anatomically accurate depiction of your own skeletal system. This actually is a good skeleton. I knew people that would dismiss people and recruit constantly to find people with these damn hoodies right here. They are nice though. And with this one of course you do have to do the cast bow mod to uh, uh, unlock it. It says you earn this creepy outfit by completing a bounty for hey. cast bow mod. I believe that one is you have to kill freaks. I believe. I don't remember. The tactical uniforms. Again, these will be found in the same place as the army stuff, so police stations and um, army navies 
ammo shops, military bases, and um, roadblocks. I actually do like how some of these look. It says, it's time to take the apocalypse seriously. You have black, if only you had a helicopter to drop from. You have camo, how not to be seen. Desert camo, how not to be seen version 2. Green, worn by many who came before you. Very 60s Vietnam lookish. And khaki, perfect for the dusty look. All right, now we're gonna move on over to the hats. Start up with the army cap. It says a tried and true standard, wear it with pride. Black, excellent for zero dark anytime. Camo, in case the top of your head needs to blend in. Desert camo, in case the jungle isn't your scene. Green, nothing wrong with a classic hue. And khaki. It's not bland. It just goes with everything. It's actually true. And we're on to the baseball caps. The iconic American headgear. Black. Nothing wrong with keeping it simple. Brato Gas. The Diesel Dino. Everybody has Heartland knows that one. Crimson Skull. Death is all around us. Yep, very much looks like the skull from um, Ghost Recon. Then we have logo. <laughs> stay true to the brand. Of course it's a State of Decay logo. I actually like that cap. We have swine and bovine, the, cat, the hat. And this one says, taste, treat of trumple. What a classic cowboy hat. Again, these will be found in either barns or in stable areas mainly. Somebody actually did tell me they found one in a, like a garage one time. But I personally found all of them in the other. Alright, so it says, nice wide brim, a bit rumpled, but then so are you. Black, not just for villains anymore. I actually like that one. It looks really good. Hereford, classic for ranching and rustling. Island, try it all for size. Khaki, won't show the dust from your long trail. And sage, like the color of a field the day after a rain. Move on to Dockyard next. I really don't care for these. Oh, you know, actually, I should have to these other ones. These don't look bad. It's the other ones. The, the knit caps I don't really care for. It says, guards against the icy breeze. Black looks good with everything. Forest, a warm compliment to your camo. Mustard, blood and beautiful. Bold and beautiful. There's my dyslexia apparently kicking in again. Apologize for that. Periwinkle, just like the crayon. And red orange. Or is it orange red? Flat brim. No bent brims. Not a chance. Not for you. I don't really care for the look of these first. That one you gotta wear it though if you have the shirt. It's a must. Let's see here. We have Antler Star. Sounds like the name of a band. It does kinda. Black. Makes a statement without saying anything. Red and white. Because you're too cool for logos. Tiger Fist Breath. Doesn't actually grant you martial arts talent. And this is Egg Crossing, of course. Cranks the irony meter up to 11. Next is, of course, the Juggernaut mask, which is just the most horrid thing. You know, I don't care how attractive you think your girlfriend is. If she's wearing this, it, it, it's time to start rethinking your life. You've made some bad decisions. Let's see here. Wearing this could get you shot. You earn this item by completing a bounty for cash Beaumont. God knows how he got it. Next we got knit caps. The next best thing to having uh, functional thermostats. Black. Black is a new black. These just look like nighttime caps to me. Just black and gold. Bright and cozy. Blue striped. Just like the one you wore in grade school. Rainbow. Always in style. That is a hideous looking color. Actually, it does okay on girls. That would not look good on guys. Striped. It's black and white and red all over. 
Funny to give the same title as like the newspaper. Military helmets. Looks good, but sadly won't keep a bullet. It won't stop a bullet or a Zed. So yeah, keep that in mind, guys. Military wear does not give you any type of extra protection. So don't forget that. Black, not just for nighttime ops. Brown won't show mud stains. Forest green, an iconic hue worn by many brave soldiers. And then green looks great with standard camo. And khaki, of course. Match us up with desert camo. All right, the next set I'm going to show you. Like I said, I was not going to show these at first. I wasn't. That's why I was waiting to do the closet because I had searched everywhere for this stuff. I had like three items left, and as people that follow my channel knows, the community editor that from the modding stuff I do has not worked in about three weeks since they actually did a big update, and it came out two days ago. And of course, by the time I already found everything, I said. I think it's like uh, two leather jackets. I didn't buy one of the tactical uniforms, and of course this one here that I'm about to show you. But it went ahead and unlocked it, I guess, because it already uploaded it. It was just on delay until the day comes out. So first, we're gonna put on this the swine and bovine outfit itself. You can probably see where this is going. Then of course we got to put on the matching hat. Something right out of saw. Half pig, half cow. All the things you don't want to wake up to after a long night drinking. Oh boy. That is just, somebody's got way too much time on their hands. But that's it guys, that is all the outfits. And don't forget too, if you have a favorite outfit that you like, or you want to try to match all your guys, you want to get it done a little quicker, you just select whatever it is you want, say that one right there, and then once you're in this part of the menu, just right click with the right thumbstick, just click in. It'll put a little star next to it. Same thing with the outfit over here. Just click in with the right thumb stick. And you'll notice then it has it as the favorites. And that way, you can actually just switch over to somebody else. Go down here. Just shortcut to them. You got a whole team of freaks running around just scaring the hell out of everybody. If you're not a serial killer and you own this outfit, you definitely have problems. But that's it, guys. That is everything for the closet um, until they add some more. I think we're going to leave it for this. Um, but drop some comments. Let me know which one's your favorite. And that's going to be it for this episode, y'all. This is TJ with Texas Digital Gaming. Out.